Okay, everybody. <clears throat> Thank you for coming in. All right, so that should give everyone enough time to come in. Uh, we have a little bit less people at the um, at the meeting today, so um, I just want to talk about um, a couple of people that have been here before that came here today and will be here um, for quite a bit. Okay, of time. Um, because um, I decided to bring a couple of people back that used to be here at this event. Uh, and I want to reintroduce you all to Abby Lee Miller. Wonderful to see you again. Um, and also, Kathy is still here. She'll be going back uh, tomorrow. Did you say we're going back? Okay. And uh, I've decided to bring back Zach Callison. Nice to, um, uh, nice to meet you again. Um, so I wonder how things have been uh, at home. What have you been up to? Okay. All right. Good. Kind of just, you know, maintaining the house and everything. Wonderful. Um, so I've decided to blend two nostalgias together. I've decided to blend the Taurus May nostalgia with the July, you know, love will land just as magic nostalgia. Uh, those are two customs. Remember, both of them started off at the 26th. On April 26th, um, Kathy Stein came to the Minton, and on June 26th, that Callison came to the Minton. You know, Taurus season, Cancer season, you see how those line up. And then it continues throughout the dominant month through, you know, the most of, you know, that next month through about, like, the 19th or 18th, you know, about that time um, for each. So they're completely different customs. 
and um, I don't really picture that you, um, you know, that you would be able to um, sing it, <laughs> you, you know, sing that song that you were coming and listening to. It is really, really beautiful. Um, that song was from The Greatest Showman, which the Cementen watched last night, um, uh, you know, because I, you know, was looking at the movie and I never seen it, but, you know, and I, you know, I heard A Million Dreams and we did sing A Million Dreams for Abby for her concert, um, but I just didn't know, you know, that it came from that. So, um, that was one of my favorite you know, scenes and songs from the movie, but I really, really liked most of all of the songs, particularly the, um, you know, that one where the circus people come out and show themselves. That was really, really, you know, strong and, you know, expressive. But they were all, um, they were all wonderful. Um, so, um, let me tell you that, um, we're not going to actually be doing that, but I think it'd be fun to learn one of the songs um, from, um, you know, from that musical. We've already learned one. Now we're going to be learning the, um, you know, the other song, um, the um, Never Enough. Um, but so anyway, uh, I just want to get on with what we have for today, okay? Um, because, um, we're going to be continuing. I know that I, um, you know, I said this afternoon, but, you know, expect that I will contradict myself a lot of the time. So, um, this afternoon we're going to be, um, uh, uh let's see here we go. This morning we're going to be continuing what we did yesterday. And I'm going to be continuing kind of um, you know, you know, playing for you certain songs for my pageantory atheist, and also going to be practicing Deborah Silverman's resemblance concert. Okay, so we had, um, we had another, um, you know, was um resemblance song, you know, for Kathy's concert. Remember, we sang the, you know, we kind of, you know, took it off of that one Christmas song. Uh, it, uh, it goes like this. I just want to play. start with, um, um, let's begin with, um, the C. Remember the C, um, that little kind of C shanty that we looked at, um, that, you know, that kind of told a story a little bit, so, um, um, let's actually do it in, um, I feel like doing it in the key of G. Okay, so that's what we're going to be starting off, first of all, with. Okay, so... What I want all of you to do 
is I want you to go to, um, you know, I want you all to go and grab your binders from over there, okay, your little music binders, okay, and then I want you to open up to the C, please. Thank you very much. Uh, Deborah Silverman is actually uh, going home now. She'll be there for, you know, like a few days or so. So she won't be back for, you know, a little bit of time. The 10th, 11th, and the 12th. Um, she'll be gone all throughout those days, and then she'll come back on the 13th. Okay. Um, okay, uh, now I just want to, um, just, just, just before you do anything, I just want to make the announcement that um, tomorrow is um, my dad's birthday, so we'll be celebrating that. Okay, everybody, um, so we'll be, uh, I don't know exactly what the plans for the event and will be for that, but I, um, you know, but I can tell you that it will be kind of a personal enterprise. Um, so I will not be very, very eventful tomorrow, um, but starting up on the 11th, uh, we're going to be, um, you know, we're going to be resuming. Okay, so that's what I want to tell you. All of you now can go get your binders. I don't have any more things to talk about. Okay. Um, so, let's see here. I'm going to move this over here so that you can see the music. And we're going to do it in, um, on the key of G. to turn to that music. So I want you to turn to the C. Remember it's kind of, um, you know, it's kind of, you know, kind of changes, you know, with its chords and everything. So ready? Is so everyone nail? Good. And I want you to sing it with me. Okay, um, so that's, you know, really all that we've worked on that song. We really didn't work on it a whole lot. And this page keeps falling out. I don't know what its problem is. But, okay. So, now, the, um, you know, the very, very first part of it. So, remember what it is. I want you to 
try that with just the piano and without me singing. to be, the next part of the song is going to be, um, you know, it's going to be the same thing, you know, but there's going to be a little change in it, and I want to, um, and I want to, um, play for you that change, so listen, as I sing it, but the stage That's that part of the song. So there's a little bit of a change in there. Okay, so one of the things is on um, Fall Into a Dead. Fall Into a Dead in his bed. And then it's going to be The Love Lies Asleep. The Love Lies Asleep. That's what it's going to be if I didn't do it before. Okay. And then it's gonna be that on the music um, without me singing and just the piano remember the little details
right now. And, uh, Okay, so now I want you to try that the whole thing up, uh, no, the whole way through without me singing. Ready? And begin. Okay, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, everybody. Now, that was one song. Uh, and I want to play for you the, um, the next song. And the next song is from the pageantory Ethiash. And it, um, um, it is called, um, uh, it is, um, it's called As Green As The Grass Grows, and it's, and it's really, really beautiful. And it has that same key, too. So I want you to heal what that song um, is. I just want you to have a listen to it.
okay, so that was that with a really, really short song. Um, so now I thought that we would get into the next song of the, um, you know, the Resemblance concert, and I'm trying to find it. Um, let's see. Um, oh yeah, Miller Poppins. Okay, so the next one that we're going to be getting to is, um, Feed the Birds, okay? Um, Feed the Birds, so I want you to find that song, um, um, in your books, okay? Um, remember this is, um, you know, this is a really beautiful one, um, you know, uh, you know, that Julie Andrews sings, okay? So, um, we did this, and we practiced this quite a bit, actually. So, we should have no trouble with it. Um, so, let's actually review what we know of it, okay? that um, this is combined with whistling in the dark. So remember I found music for whistling in the dark and I decided to just throw it in there. Okay. Um, it wasn't anything that we practiced way back in the day, but it's interlinked with the, um, um, the Feed the Birds because it's minor key and the, they sound really similar and they're both sung by the same singer. So um, go to whistling in the dark. And then, and then you want to do that together with the Feed the Birds, all in one. Okay, two in one, two for one. Okay, so um, find that, please, and then um, remember that we practiced that a little bit as well. <laughs> 